All right, guys. What's up, the Blue Gangster here? I'm doing the um, season three changes. Um, yeah, patch no changes for Jin. The thing is, I already done that on Twitch like a couple of hours ago, and I rewatched it. And yeah, it was way too long. Twitch even shorter at the beginning by 10 minutes or something and it had some frame drops and freezes in between for some moments seconds whatever so I plan to do a short version for YouTube since I can like I cannot stream on YouTube and I can the second problem is I cannot even export my Twitch streams when they're finished to YouTube anymore I have to download them and then re-upload them on YouTube and shit and for like two plus hours like that's way too much. So I'm doing a quick one for YouTube again. Alright. But right, let's go. So first one, I got the I got the 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 picture here. Let's start with this first thing here the ring rage I'll, I'll just leave it here like this so you can still still see my like gaming recording and shit all right this is the rage drive and it says decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the second hit is blocked all right what this actually means is let me put this on block everything and turn on Jin's rage so I can literally show you what it means this second move right here do you see that do you see the pushback like the distance that Jin creates to Kazuya when the second move hits this distance is going to be shortened so I think it's probably gonna be like this or even this which is actually a buff and I'm not gonna tell you why this is actually a buff because if you do this and most players especially when it's on block when this thing does not hit like I don't know what's gonna happen to it when it actually hits but just just wait a second the patch notes say when the second hit is blocked alright so we're not talking about when it actually hits when it's on juggle or something we're talking about when it's blocked so what does this actually mean if I'm then like let's say here or here or something like rage 1 rage 2 whatever usually when this move gets blocked you have options for follow-ups right the problem with the follow-up since the since Kazuya is so far is that you have to do a crouch crouch input at least to cancel it which you shouldn't do because then your turn is over and you lose your advantage so of course you gotta follow it up with something and most likely since you're already doing the crouch like yeah the crouch input the crouch animation whatever it's gonna be a crouch dash move right but the problem is, like you got several options in in crouch with Jin. It's it's a uh, hell sweep, crouch four, crouch dash four, crouch dash two. But if you duck, both options are done. So you can do uh, crouch dash forward two, which is a safe mid, but it can't be stepped. Or you do um, crouch dash two like the regular god fist, but it, again it's a high. So if the opponent ducks, you do crouch dash one, because if the if the opponent ducks, this one is a launcher. But it's minus thirteen on block. So if if the opponent like just only turtles and then you're on minus thirteen, you get punished. Which actually sucks. But sometimes. Yeah it tries to 
Jun's weak side, so it's kind of okay, but minus 13. I mean, it's it's weird to me. I've been telling this people since season 1, and they're laughing at me because the regular one is minus 10, and the electric version is plus 5. Like, that's a 15 frame difference. Why isn't there a difference between the regular one here and the regular and the electric version? Like, because there isn't, you know, it's both minus 13. That kind of sucks. Like, even if this only would be, I don't know, minus 10, it would be at least something different. But, but that's another thing. So, the thing is, if you only got like about half of the pushback. Let's, let's put it like this. If you do this, and you have this much range to cover for your follow-up, your follow-up becomes visible as fuck. Like, even the health sweep. You can clearly see it. You can duck it, and you get launched. You get launched with a crouch dash move, or if your opponent knows how to crouch, cancel things, they can, like, launch you with electrics and stuff and you get like I don't know 70 to 80 damage or even more and that's that's kind of a lot for 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 a safe follow-up right so the thing is that OG told me he's a combo maker for Tekken um, hello Shakuzimana if I spelled that right he taught me a lot and the thing is what he said, what you can do, so your crouch dash follow up is not that visible, is to do a wave dash. In other words, two crouch dashes, so the follow up is not that easy to see anymore. It's not that readable anymore, because the nearer you are, the shorter the range, range is, the harder it is to read what you're actually doing or to see what you're doing right because like look at it I'll, I'll just show you look at it you'll you'll see the difference look I'll do it with health sweep right you see and now it's it's something different but then there is another minus for this shit because if you do Two wave dashes after this, a lot of your frame advantage is gone and all your opponent has to do to avoid all your options is to do a simple, I don't know, 13 frame or if even if they have like a faster mid, just, just to press it and, and they will always interrupt you. They will always interrupt you because before you can land your move after two wave that after two crouch dashes they will always they'll be always faster no matter what you will do after two crouch dashes if it's cd1 cd2 cd4 cd3 doesn't matter they will always be faster than you and you will lose your turn no matter what that shit sucks right so, they decreased the range, they were aware of this, and they decreased the range, hopefully, to about half of it, so you don't have to do two crouch dashes anymore, but one with the same speed as if I will do two. So, like, cover the same distance, like, in this, in this situation right here. So, every follow-up is not that seeable anymore, and they are in the guessing, back in the guessing game again, which is, a uh, that should be there, like, from the beginning. Like, I mean, it's good that there is a pushback, that means this, these two moves are safe as fuck, especially because it's a chain. But it's still a disadvantage with this range, because... It takes way too long for the follow-up. So this is what they were looking for when they released this type of patch note. 
I think I got everything covered right here because it's only on block. So I think this is going to work way better than it used to be right now, like in season two. And yeah, that's basically it with 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 this move. So let's move on. Okay, um, now I'm going to nah. I think I think it's still enough. I think it's still enough. So change the move to send the opponent spinning. Change the move to send your opponent spinning when it lands as a counter. Okay, so on block it's it's the same thing. On hit, let me turn this off. On hit and. People be telling me it's because they only broke down spin, right? So, and this is already some type of spin. And this is also a type of spin. But everybody says it's gonna be like a screw, a corkscrew, a tailspin, whatever you wanna call it. It's gonna be something like this. Right? So you get a neutral string for, for a tailspin, which is actually crazy. But the thing is, with 1, 2, 4, if you, if, like, this, like, this move all, all but juggles the next hit, and if you do something like this, like, let's, let's try it with this. You see? So, if, if this is the actual range of that move that it creates when, when it hits on neutral, You gotta do different shit for a combo. You gotta do different shit for a combo. Like like this, which is which is way harder than than the usual stuff Jin Jin players do. Like OG is of course he's gonna do some crazy stuff with this and I'm I'm looking forward to it to see what is actually possible. But if if this creates the same yeah you see the same distance I think the only thing that that's gonna like hit is something like this for or 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 I don't know um maybe this something like that and it's only about 50 damage so I'm it's of course it's a it's a buff of course it's a buff but I'm really curious to see the distance it creates when it tail spins on neutral if it's if it's larger like like the the electric one right here like the electric one right here it's okay because after electric like you can do the regular stuff why didn't that hit now come on Yeah, something like that, right? So this is going to be okay, but we we don't know yet. We don't know yet. I'm I'm just making sure so you know what what we are about to get. So two. I'm just gonna read this and and then I'm gonna let this this uh, screen disappear so you can see the full game screen. Decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move is blocked. Increase the lower range of the attack. So, I got a couple of things in my stream wrong or too long. I'm gonna do it right here. So, the problem with this move, I think most of all gym players already noticed it and it happened to me a lot of time. But the thing is, it's only on block. Is that, wait a second, let me put this guy into block everything. So, most of all, like a lot of times, like almost 50, 40, not 50, 40% 40 of the time, this move will disappear. Doesn't matter if I do 2 1 or 2 4. That's why they said only 2. Because there are more things that you can do out of 2, right? So sometimes this move, even on 0 range, will not hit and you wouldn't have a problem ducking it, right? Because if, if only the 4 is actually coming, you can see it and you can duck it. Or, um, if you do 2 1, sometimes, even if you think you're at 0 range, the first one will kinda whiff, and so it's really easy to step the second one and do whatever you like. Right? 
and I'm sure they were aware of this problem. The thing is, it's only on block, but since they said as a second point of changing it, decrease the, the lower range of that move, I'm pretty sure even like even on on hit that this shit won't happen again i don't know if i was on a on a at a tournament where it got actually streamed and you saw what actually happened because even on zero range the the first hit sometimes like whiffed and the second hit was like no problem afterwards and that was really messed up because like a two poke string you kind of really got to rely on that. And I had many problems with hitting it. So yeah, I hope this is actually the fix. This is actually fixed the way I want it to be fixed. So the two won't like freaking disappear out of nowhere. And you can do whatever you want after it. This really sucks because it's this 10 frame punish. And like 2-1, especially 2-1-4 is like his best string. So you really have to rely on that. Uh, like I could say a couple of more things, but I think they're not that relevant. So we can, and I want to keep it short so we can move on to the next move. And if you think there's like something I forgot or there has to be added for this move, just, just write it down. Forward 4. Increase the distance between the character and the opponent when a move lands as a counter hit. Okay? When this lands as a counter hit. So, most of all gym players... Let me put this to... Um... Counter. Alright. So, most gym players say that's one of his biggest nerfs. I don't get that. Because it says it's... It increase the range on counter hit. That means on, on block or on... Regular hit, it's still the same. Even if it whiffs, it's still the same move. Nothing happened. It only changes the distance when it hits as a counter hit. That means we're like there are two options. There are two things that could happen to this move to season three. First, we're gonna have a hard time dashing up. Like you probably have to do like a wave dash or two. To get this like it's it's gonna be either really hard to to catch up to to get this type of combo and like the range is ridiculous like look he's almost at if I would have continued this combo I would get like whatever so first thing is we maybe are gonna have a hard time uh, getting that combo or we are not gonna get this combo anymore like after all so you can no longer hope for okay all right let, let's run it for me it's actually a good thing why because I was always waiting for to confirm if I can run it or not right now since this is not going to happen anymore or it's harder to follow up I can every time if it's hit if it's counter it or if it's block always cancel and the thing is the max damage I think um wait a second um let me just show you where is it where is it there it is so Nah, second hit, not please. Ah, almost. Now nah, come on. Nah, it's too far. Now nah, come on, what the fuck? I wanna do this quickly. And again. Come on, Jin, don't let me down, especially in a tutorial video. And again, it hits. Whatever. If you land this, you see 74. So, so the best thing that could happen to you is that you'll get 73 damage, right? But, 
if you if you do something like this um you can do actually something like this it's almost the same or you do it a bit better by canceling it like this is uh yeah, yes, for the, the stage is not good enough, but we need it for, for the uh, moves coming. So, alright. This one was the first one, 68. And the second one. Yeah, come on. What the hell? Seventy three again. So it's it's the same same damage thing. And the best thing about it is if you cancel it you're you're not um minus eight or minus nine on hit and you can no longer get with puni with punished um large punish on with because you cancelled it, you can do you can do like every every time this one right here because it's safe or you do the cancel shit and you'll get like the same amount of damage like this is not really a nerf it's it's like it forces gin players to cancel it and to cancel forward four into zen stance and so on is always the better option than to run in because if you think you're gonna get a counter hit and you just get a regular hit or worse it's it's gonna get blocked or or it whiffs and you don't don't cancel but run in you are freaking unsafe you get launched whatever they can do everything to you so this is actually like player wise it's a buff because you won't do unnecessary unsafe bullshit anymore and that's a good thing but because it's a they say that the the, the range got increased right but I don't think that in this in this window, in this type of window, where you cancel it and go on with a back three, I don't think they nerfed it that much. Like it will it will be fucked up. It will be fucked up if you cannot no longer do something like this or even this. That will be fucked up because that means you have you have like. The, your only combo option would be something like this like forward three that means that I mean this this move is not is not unsafe but but you you no longer like can cancel it to be safe and then move on with a combo that would actually suck if it's if it's that big of a nerf but I don't think they they meant it for this range but they meant it for like this range like when you want to follow up like this is not going to work anymore i think this is still going to work i hope so it it would be fucked up if it wasn't but you see even 90 damage like this shit is crazy okay it was it was on counter it but whatever you know so i'm hoping that okay it's 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 actually a good thing if they if they um, made like increase the the range when when you will like want to follow up and you don't get it but you still get like shit like this then it's actually like a buff player wise but I can tell we have to wait till season three is here all right so the next thing the next thing is. Forward 1 plus 2. Forward 1 plus 2. Wait a second. Let me let me get that out of the way. Forward 1 plus 2. So Jin already has down 1. Why forward 1 plus 2? Because. You know. Forward, uh, down 1. Now nah, let, me, let me put it like this. Wall bounce is not like a really common thing. That you, that you use a lot in a fight. Where is it? There it is. 
like wall bounce down one in Jin's case is not a thing that you really use a lot not really in Jin's case you you don't use it a lot in general and you only can use it on the wall right in Jin's case his down one only like you only use it here I'll just show you you only use it in this case you do something like that and you can do down two right you you can do down two but everybody knows you're gonna do down two so you have a, like a mind game 50 50 thing going on because where is it if the opponent thinks if Kazuya right now thinks okay when when I am done with my one two three the down two is coming then you can do shit like this like you get the idea you can do down one instead of down two and you get like almost 70 damage without counter it because this here beats beats ducking it's it's a myth all right so this is kind of your your 50 50 if he thinks okay down two is coming i'm gonna do a down one and then combo whatever you can even um if you do it the right way not like I am. You can go to the wall like I am looking right now. The wall right in front of us. That wall back there. You can do a combo where you get to the second wall right there. But the thing is. You can only use it here. Like it ha makes no sense to use it mid screen or whatever. Or just to, to get close to the wall and shit. Nobody really uses this move. Because it has pushback. Yeah, alright. But but it's not really a good move to use. So, and, and this setup. Um, I learned this setup from OG too. Because otherwise I wouldn't use down one whatsoever, right? So why did they make... To me, it didn't really make sense. Because Jin don't really has to use a wall bounce since he has his electric you know wall splat plus five even if it's blocked on wall you still like doesn't really make sense right but then again then again like now you can use it even mid screen or some shit or like not really mid screen but here because this move if it won't be changed if the properties won't be changed if it's still a 14 frame punish and the, the pushback is still the same. This move is going to be freaking OP at the wall and close to the wall. Because if you do something like... Wait a second. First. First, first, first. First thing. This right here. And second thing. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, uh, so, what the fuck, no, wrong, this one right here, so, get up kicks, right, get up kicks are kind of minus, minus 13 to minus 15 or, or, or something like that, so sometimes you can punish it, you can punish a mid get up kick with, um, this move right here depending on the range and you have a 38 damage wall bounce which is crazy or with Jin which is even better if you block if you block uh, if you parry a mid get up kick you have a free 13 to 15 frames free 13 to 15 frames so what does that mean you see punish punish so at the wall or near the wall which would be even more crazy because then you got more options you can do this one right here as a wall bounce simulated something like this and do something like this and this is like 65 it's not the best option 65 right and instead of instead of 24 you get 38 that means 
14 at 65. That's almost, it's like 80 plus damage. This shit is crazy. If you block a minus 14 to whatever move close to the wall, next to the wall, or parry it and do this one right here, this game is over. So, that's, that's a pretty sick buff and now you can actually use this one next to the wall because down one next to the wall while you're while you don't even really know what's going on nobody's gonna use that so now you have two options for the wall bounce when you uh, punish or um, block punish or or parry punish something you get a wall bounce and you get a kind of 50 50 when the opponent thinks okay down two is coming down one wall bounce like that's it and that's a real like y you will see especially at tournaments you will see this shit is crazy all right done that if the if the properties stay the same that's that's the thing so down forward one four four change the opponent's behavior when hit midair I really don't know what they mean because usually when this thing hits mid air where is this reset thing here it is so usually when this thing hits mid air it's like a mid juggle thing but it it depends on the I don't know or even with this no, you, you don't... I mean, it wall splats. I think that's enough. Yeah, it, it kind of low wall splats. So, I don't know what they gonna do with this. What this is actually going to do mid-air. I think it's, it's gonna have, like, pushback, like this so you can use it to to get your opponent closer to the wall because you you see the the range is creating it's almost nothing and you get nothing out of that so if the, this range is increased it's it's a buff and i really can't say more about it because i don't know okay next one oh shit next one where are you? Here you are. Down back four. That's definitely a nerf. That's definitely a nerf. The thing is, most of all people say when you go to Kazumi and do down back four on counter, like you know what happens, right? You get this like kind of ground splat where you get a guaranteed um, down two. So people are saying that Jin is going to get the same thing. But the thing is that Kazumi is one changes so if they change kazumi's one why should jin get it then why should jin get it then doesn't make sense what i hope for what i hope for is that it's gonna be that it's gonna be this one kazuya's one it's plus four to plus five on hit so a little bit better than Jin one on on hit and it if it if it has like the same animations as Kazuya wants is on hit people probably won't be able to step down forward one after this anymore on plus five not being able to to escape the down one and then press something you probably get this one for free. And since this is, I don't know, 15 to 16, I think back three is gonna get re relevant again if that's the case. And you can do things like this here. Worst case would be if the hit animation would be the same on counter as it is on normal hit. But it's still not really like that big of a deal because people tell me that Jin is dead 
just because this shit is no longer a counter hit launcher. I don't know, it's good for Jin if the opponent stays at Euro Plus because you can build up pressure and if you want like a counter hit launch, if you want a counter hit launch, let, let me just show you. You got four. You got up forward four. You got forward four. You got down forward four. And you got and you got a hell sweep for counter hit like th that's not even counter hit launch. It's a normal hit launch. But you got so many counter hit launchers. I know this this is the only one that's slow and it's and it's fast and things and whatever. But Jin has so many different for whatever into counter hit launch options and he has not like you can't you you are not plus something and you cannot build up pressure after down four or back four since this throws the opponent away and it's a wall splat. You don't really have a tool, especially a low tool, with 4, because 4 with everything covers every option. Even like this one on, on, on hit. Like you cannot really build up 0 range pressure. And you already have a counter hit launch. So, I don't know, I don't see it as like... To me that's not really I don't know. I don't know if, if it's gonna be like Kazuya ones or or this one we are seeing right now even on counter hit. But if it stays like plus or it's getting even more plus and the best thing will be like less minus on block. This thing is still pretty damn good. Like it's almost not a nerf. I won't really say a buff if it's not with Kazuya's animation, but it's, I don't know, it's its an, another good tool, another good tool that Jin can really get used to build up zero range pressure, so it, like all I'm saying is, you're over exaggerating by saying this, like this is the biggest nerf Jin could ever get, because there is something else that is really bothering me where I say this could be Jin's biggest nerf ever and the worst uh, worst nerf ever. So let's move on. The ring Zen Stance, I just call it Zen Stance uh, 1 3, alright? That's a new move. It looked pretty sick on uh, in the trailer, right? So people are scared because I don't know if it's gonna work on the like the, the normal thing like right here. So you can do like um like this version and then three and then like on this stage you would get like kind of a uh, or if you do like this one. I don't know if it's gonna hit that way and if it does you kinda get a uh, short timed wall splat but if you do the the micro dash combo maybe it will hit but if i do like the regular wind god fist yeah you'll definitely get a high to mid wall splat so that means you get i don't know maybe 80 damage or even more which is freaking good and since you're at the wall, you're again at this game where, um, let's say you get like this type of wall splat. You can, you can do something like this, or you can go back to this right here and then, and then go with this awkward 50-50 again where it's, is it down two for, for like, um, is it like this? Or this again for, for the wall bounce. So you're back in your like wall game 50-50 advantage. Which is actually a pretty good thing. But I don't 
know how this is going to break. I think you still have to do the micro dash thing because the the point is after micro dash there are not there is not really something you can do, right? You a actually have to always go for the Zan stance one two, and if you wall splat with that close to the wall, you get actually no follow up, like not even the down two because they can tack roll it. So that makes sense, and especially on a wall that's gonna break, you can like re splat him easy with uh, Zen stance. 1-3 so this is actually a really big buff but I don't know if this is actually gonna work in season 3 and you're gonna see why in a couple of seconds or minutes or whatever so this one right here FF3 from plus 2 let me do it like this nah I can keep it that way right so from plus 2 to 0 Usually when you do on block it says, right? So where is it? So FF3 on block was plus two. That means if you do like a one jab Nobody can do anything about it or if you do like a down for one which is 13 start up 13 if the opponent is too slow and does not like directly do a one jab, you're still like at advantage or it's it's hard to step things, harder to step things. So you kind of are at your plus pressure game and shit. But now that it's zero on block, you kind of, it's, it's like not your enemy's turn, it's like not yours turn. It, it depends on, on your opponent if you know that you can actually press something or you have to back up and wait what he does or sidestep or whatever. It's like you, you cannot really build pressure anymore on, on, on zero. So that's, that's, a, that's, that's a nerf. That's a nerf definitely. Because this was used to, to build up like neutral neutral a neutral plus game and the thing is the startup of 444 of course it's it's better but the thing is it's force crouch and the the startup and recovery are not that good it's it's not as fast as the ff3 and yeah the your only other options are like cd3 for example which is also not that good in terms of startup and recovery and yeah I don't know and this one is a high so that kind of in a way fucks up Jin's plus pressure game but we'll see because two plus two to zero is kind of I don't know but that's that's basically it because it's only on block so yeah and now oh man this is scary this is really scary so in my stream video I thought they were probably talking about the neutral one because there were like no capital DFs and um, or a plus after the notation but I looked it up in other frame apps again on the websites it's actually the electric so the electric just like the other Mishima's electric like Jin is not a Mishima but he also has an electric got nerfed because they got a damage nerf right decrease the distance between the character and the opponent when the move lands is a counter hit that's kind of a weird nerf which is scary which is really scary because that means it's only the case, the distance thing is only the case if this move lands as a counter hit. This is so weird, like, please tell me why, please explain to me why. Like, this here would make way much sense. Way much sense. Because, as a, as a usual move, you, you get a, like this flip over, right? 
It's a counter hit. Nah. It's a counter hit. You get the regular uh, animation like it was the electric one, right? So. That will be like, there you can actually see and react to the distance. But you cannot react to the difference if you do if you do one move that basically always does the same like if you do an electric you're always pla planning what's like you're thinking ahead you're already planning what's next right that's like how, how this follow-up combo works if you are waiting because you don't know what's what's gonna happen like you don't give a shit if it's on block because you plan it to be on block because you want your pushback and your plus frames, right? But if this shit is on hit and you know it's gonna hit, then you automatically go into the next move so you can make your combo. But if you're waiting to confirm it, you see what happens? That's the problem. And most of the time, you don't know if this is a counter hit or regular hit. And the second, which is the biggest problem actually, next to the confusing part, is that it decreases the range. And the worst case scenario will be, um, the worst case scenario will be, if they nerf this range this much, just like this. Because all you get after this, like, this is one of the mid to the best options. This one right here. So if you do electric and you do this right here. Now come on. Sixty-six and almost no range no range covered. No micro dash combo anymore because um I don't know yeah in this case because the range is the same but not nah, no micro dash combo anymore and that's maybe why wait a second that's maybe why he got his new move because then, yeah, because then you can do stuff like the the new move to get a double Oki flip so you got that range covered. But this will be like, like, I don't know, I don't know what you want to do, what you want to do after this, like, ah, uh, come on, Jin. Like something like this maybe that, that doesn't even like you have to de delay it so it actually works or something like now nah, come on I'll, ju I'll just do it the regular way this one right here with which actually should work but it doesn't because I'm recording now you, you see like the combo thing is, is is gonna be a problem if if the if the range will be like nerfed this much. If it doesn't, I still don't know. Like if it's still a, a bit just a bit less, I still don't know. I think it's it's still like highly possible. Let's put it like that. Highly possible that the that the follow up. After this one right here, whether it's the non micro dash or the micro dash version, is gonna be no longer possible, and that shit is even more scarier to me than to to notice if it is on counter hit or not. Like if it's on on hit, it's it's gonna be still the same. It's gonna be still the same. But to to like realize, okay, this is on counter hit. And then to go like in the same instance to to switch from one regular combo to a second regular combo. Wow, I don't know. This 
this sounds like really really scary because I don't know if I can switch that fast like by hit by inputting this making sure okay this is the normal or a counter hit thing and then switch from from my basic combo to a whacked down combo that almost does nothing like for me this is the biggest nerf to me this is the biggest nerf like not the not the not this one right here like like the four like I, I I think I even skipped that one, right? Let let me just show you. Um, right here for increases the recovery time of the if the move misses by three frames, right? So let's just let's just put it like this. So if this move whiffs, it has three recovery frames. That I don't know if you can. I think you can go in and jab, jab. Because you don't have to be scared that this is a setup and the second one will be a counter it if you like try to interrupt it. But it's only on, on, on counter it so it doesn't change the property when it's on in a combo or something. You don't have to be like this scared. But I don't give a shit about 4, about forward 4 or even down back 4 on counter. If, if this is going to be the problem I think it's going to be. Because then first you have to recognize in, in one instance, is this a counter hit or not? And then, depending on the range nerf it's going to get, if you still can do your regular combos, or if you have to go to something like, I don't know, um, like this shit don't even work. Yeah, this shit don't even work. Oh my god. Like, you see what I'm talking about? Something like, I don't know. Like, this is for me, I'm terrified to be honest. Like, what the fuck? And you be talking about the uh, down back four counter, forward four, the range, and. Let's just pray and hope. Let's just hope. I Man, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. But I'm also excited because I want to experience some new stuff. Like Tekken is going to be exciting. P-Mode is going to be exciting again. Alright then guys. Um, if I messed something up or you got any ideas or something to say, leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you watch this video, it makes no sense to watch the Twitch version. I might even delete it because it's way too long and I was bullshit talking, like trash talking a lot. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Blue Gangs is out. Peace, YouTube. Word.